Right, so what you're needing actually is the options text modification that you can find information out um, online. There's lots of good resources. But basically, it's a, it's a file you create in your live, um, your current live preferences folder. So to be clear where this is, we're in users, in your name, library preferences, Ableton, and then the latest version. And then you need to create this text file. Use that, do that using text edit. And in here are some of the common um, parameters that people put in here that change the uh, the the um, the function the functionality of live. Right. The one that you're interested in though here is enable map to siblings. So if this is in here, when you create this text file, you've also got to make sure that it's um, plain text. So in here, this would say make plain text. You don't want any rich text uh, content, otherwise it won't um, it won't recognize it. But what's that, what this means is once you've done that and left it in this folder here and restarted live, then you get a bunch of different features, including this uh, clip slots button here, this effect slots. But <clears throat> most importantly is that when you've got a drum rack, um, any drum rack like this, then basically you've got all these different... Um, you can map your first simpler, basically you can map your first um, the same map to decay. And then what I can do is right click and I can map to all siblings. So then every um, simpler in this rack will have this, that same parameter mapped to the same macro with one click. Um, so that's what you need to be able to do what you're trying to do.